sunny ever bring you down here? Huh? Yeah, I know it's cold. But after a while, you won't feel it. Come on. You won't feel anything. Go right ahead. Yeah, Pete? Guess again. I'll give you a hint. You fired me. Yeah, I remember. It's good to hear your voice. How are you? Oh, never mind. I'll be seeing you soon enough. How's that? I've got a friend here. Sonny, listen to me. Whatever he says, don't do it because he wants to kill both of us. Listen to me. Stay calm. I'll figure something out. Sonny, he wants to kill you. Put him on the phone. He wants you. You know I'm serious. What do you want? I want to give you a chance to say goodbye to the woman you love before I kill her. Where are you? First things first. Be at the phone booths at Maine and Federal in 20 minutes. I'm gonna need more time than that. Half an hour. I'll be there. I have no doubt. Oh, and Sonny, if I so much as suspect you've tipped the cops, you'll be saying goodbye to a corpse. Oh, Brenda. Did anyone ever tell you that this stuff could kill you? Pete and Joseph had to drag Valentine out of some party at the country club, but he should be on the minute. All right, all right, just wait for a minute. Do me a favor. Tell Valentine to file the second harassment complaint. Okay. And make sure you tell him about what that idiot did with the heat. All right. Where are you going? I got to I gotta see Brenda. I'm already no, 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 you're not going to run off. It's not going to be a, a, a great reunion with you standing three feet away. You understand what I'm saying? Besides, you have to wait for Valentine. Why are you lying to me? You're lying to me. I'm not lying to you. I want to, I got to go see Brenda. Well, just tell me what's, what's going on. Listen to me. I would never force you to do anything for your own good. Now, it's your turn. I gotta go see Brenda, and I do not want you to follow me. As a friend, I'm asking you to do this. All right. You know, Harry, you don't have to do this. You know, my husband is a very wealthy man. He could make you very rich. What is it? Isn't about money. Well, what is it about, then? Sonny, he'd throw his life away to rescue his mistress, but he wouldn't lift a finger to save his wife. What if you're wrong, Harry? What if he doesn't come for me? Oh, I know him, remember? He can't bear the thought of a woman afraid or in pain. He literally knew that. It's why she was so careful never to let him see her hurt. Not like you. And working in parking garages, crying for him day and night, using your tears to make him forget that you tried to send him to prison. He almost destroyed himself for you months ago. But Lily saved him. Well, there's no Lily this time. Told you he wouldn't come. Just getting rid of his bodyguards. Man in Sonny's position has got a lot of people around. He can't just send them off to lunch when he wants to be alone. 
You're proud of him, aren't you? Yeah, I was. And he's the smartest kid I know. He rose so fast. He never made a wrong move. Till he hooked up with you. You make him stupid. And stupid is gonna kill him. Harry. Look, if you want to hurt Sonny, maybe you should just kill me and, and then leave him to suffer. Well, maybe he'll forget you like he did Lily and go on to the next tramp. No, no. It's a little late for your noble concern. Now, if you wanted to sacrifice yourself for his happiness, you should have left him alone in the first place. He had a life, he had a future. But he chose you instead. Well, I'm gonna see he gets what he wants. He's gonna die knowing you are the worst thing that ever happened to him. I'm here. What do you want? I'm at the storage place. Which one? The one you never want to go to. The one that scares you to death. Now, you remember, there's only one way in and one way out, so I'll know if you're not alone. The second I think you're with somebody, Brenda dies. Harry, listen, take it. I warned you to kill her a long time ago. Now, it won't cause me any pain to do it now. Let me talk to Brenda again. Ah, uh, now you're wasting time. The clock's running. Put her on the phone, Harry. Sonny, listen to me. Don't come here, because he's going to kill you. No, no, no. It's going to be okay. I'm going to take care of it. <laughs> now, you remember. Alone or she's dead. You ought to do something with your hair. You look like hell.